invasive vegetation is threatening to destroy Maryland's native forests. Non-native plants engulf the entire forest. As if each tree were a giant cocoon. The native plants no longer have access to sunlight and are unable to perform photosynthesis. They must now compete with the foreign invaders for precious water and nutrients. Vines strangle the trees, cutting off the transport of food and water from the leaves to the roots. The excess weight on the canopy snaps off limbs and topples entire trees. The forest floor becomes a tangled mess. New seedlings are unable to regenerate. Soon, the entire forest ecosystem collapses into a giant green blob. And the forest dies. This loss of forests not only threatens our wildlife, it threatens us. The solution to this problem cannot be to plant more trees. A tree is not a forest. A tree will give you shade. A forest regulates the climate. A tree can provide shelter from the rain. A forest prevents flooding. A tree provides habitat for a bird. A forest is habitat for an ecosystem. A tree is a playground for a child. A forest is recreation for a community. A forest is an ecosystem of plants, animals, and fungi coexisting in a sustainable, dynamic balance, the dominant plant being trees. The dense canopy of the dominant trees carefully regulates the amount of light which reaches the forest floor. This balances the growth below. Forests take decades to mature. Their decaying leaves produce the rich soil that holds the fungal network connecting one tree to the next. This connection allows them to communicate and share nutrients and water. We cannot make forests. We must take care of the ones we have. Rather than planting new saplings, a more efficient and effective plan would invest in the forest we already have.